going to put out a piece for our viewers. Then I could call it fundalytics. That's funda and politics. You put it together, and a few stocks are reacting to some news flow. So we'll tell you the political development, and then we'll tell you the fundamental reason as well. The stocks are up. Let's address three of them. KCP. That stock is higher in today's trading session. The big news is Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu. He's set to become the CM for the fourth time. The reason that the markets are excited is because the TDP in their last tenure they were talking about the development of Amravati, and when they went out of power, Mr. Reddy, Jagan Mohan Reddy, that came in. Well, he changed things, and the focus on Amravati just got pulled back. And now, in fact, they have three capitals out there. So they're hoping, you know, the street, stock market's hoping that the focus on Amravati's revival plan comes about yet again, which will be very, very good. Let's run you through KCP's business model. More than 95% of their money comes in from cement as well as uh, sugar put it together, and they have smaller segments like heavy engineering as well as hotel. Three big points I wanted to highlight. One is on their cement business, they have a capacity of around 4.3 million tons approximately. They have limestone reserves as well, and they're talking about expansion out there. If you look at a valuation at $50 per ton, that capacity of around 4.3 million tons odd. It comes around 1,800 crores. At $60, it comes around 2,150 crores odd. So that's the enterprise value just for the cement business. And the entire company as of now is actually valued at around 1,800 crores, 2,300 crores of market cap. They have cash of around 500 crores approximately. So there is some valuation support. And in addition to the cement business, they also have the sugar. Uh, they have the Vietnamese sugar business. Which throws up revenues of more than 1,000 crores and a bit of close to 240 crores. Next to JSPL, the promoter entity, Mr. Navin Jindal, he joined the BJP a couple of months ago and he's won Kurusheshra. So that's why, in fact, on the street is quite happy with the political department. But what about fundamentally as well? The crude capacity is set to go up by close to 65%. They have lined up a big capex of close to 30,000 crores odd and they're saying that they'll keep the debt in check. So the market likes that. And they're also focusing on. Uh, you know, pushing margins higher by value-added products, the slurry pipe they've spoken about, as well as the captive coal mines. So it explains why JSPL actually is booming away. It's up close to 5% as we speak. And the third stock we're looking at is Impa. That stock is up more than 10%. Mr. Uh, Baija, uh, 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 Mr. Jay Panda of the BJP, he won a seat in Odisha. So that's, that's come back to him. And in fact, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Subrakant Panda is the promoter of Impa. They are brothers. You know, the, the brother who won uh, the political seat has no relation with regard to uh, no involvement in the business. But since he's a brother, that's why, in fact, some kind of political rub off is there. But fundamentally, as well, things are looking up for IMFA. And three big reasons they're expanding their capacity by close to around 40%. The crow mode prices are firm. And the third factor is they're awaiting close to around 220 crores of compensation for their coal blocks. So put this together, just thought we'll highlight the fundamental and the political reasons that these stocks are flying away in today's trading session. Jigar, a few of these stocks, well, you would have tracked them in the past many years because, you know, at one point of time, your core beat was cement as well as metals. Any view on any three of